breaking news. Today has not been peaceful with TB Joshua as a lady and a man reveal bad things about him. Hmm. What else should we say? Not everyone is sad about the past or the passing of TB Joshua. A lady and a man reveals bad things about him. When it was announced that the popular prophet TB Joshua was no more, a lot of people could not even believe that this had really happened. His passing came just days before his birthday, that is the 50th birthday. And for those who have been following TB Joshua on his page, on his Twitter account, they know that it would have been a celebration next week Saturday. Probably still will even tell do he will not be around. The lady said, I can't disassociate TB Joshua from the violence of some of his evangelism, nor for the lack of accountability for 115 persons that died on the 12th of September 2014, nor how his church or his training pushed someone I knew to commit suicide for the, the many lives at, at altered. For a lot of people, this probably means something that there are those who are probably wondering how they will go on without the guardian or guidance of TB Joshua. There are millions of people who got knowledgeable about what it means to be a Christian through the teachings of TB Joshua. There are so many who loved him. However, there are those who are still holding grudges and those who, who think that just like someone else, he had a lot of shortcomings. Exactly, someone replied this lady's message on her Instagram page. He said, I had a family member who was a, jo TV, a Joshua, Joshua Satanic and survived that accident. The person survived the Joshua Satanic and survived the accident only to be the leader of the Joshua Defense Court. <laughs> now, there are things that have happened while the prophet was alive. Some people saw TV Joshua as this man of God who was bringing people closer to God. But there are people who would beg to disagree with most of the nice things that have been said about him. As other people are talking about the good persons that TB Joshua was, there is one person who had something shocking to say about him. The man says, a con man from Nigeria, TB Joshua has died. There is after lying and conning poor on suspecting Africans in Nigeria for years. This one lady mentioned out there has been a lack of accountability for more than 100 of people who died in 2014 when a guest, a guest house at Evangelist TB Joshua's Synagogue Church of All Nations in Nigeria collapsed. And there was something concerning that she revealed. She mentioned that TB Joshua's church training had pushed someone she knew to suicide. Some after this lady gave this re statement, see reply of some Nigerian citizens. Colin says, I wonder how this message would reach the people of Nigeria. You should have posted on Instagram or TikTok. Another person said, 
like it is or like it is or not at the end of the day when matters is the lives you change in the world he might have been a con man but he puts food in the mouth of millions roof over their heads before you go about judging him ask yourself this what is your impact in this world and how is 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 that is that related to what i commented why did you not just post on the ge general comment section unless you are someone or someone naive or your own action i replied you because you were consciously investigating a naysayer on how matter to spread is blasphemy to be larger audience you have listened to the comments of some nigerian citizens over the statement made by this lady it's turned out that this lady was not only one who had bad things to review about this late tv joshua there was a man who also mentioned that T.B. Joshua was a con man and this sparked a lot of reactions with some people arguing and others totally disagreeing. Today has not been peaceful at all. People have been going at each other on and on on social media and the topic is whether or not T.B. Joshua was a good man or not. People will have to decide on their own on this one. They have had their unique experiences with Tim Joshua and there is just no way that they will see eye to eye. Thank you for listening to this news. Imagine. This is absolutely, I don't know, did I say wrong or correct? It is obvious that these people that are talking, they have one or two things to say and they have experiences, one or two experiences that even you, that is not a member of the church or that is a member of the church, does not even have. To me, I hate criticism. I don't criticize people. I don't at all. I don't criticize men of God either. All I do is whenever I hear anything about a man of God, I don't say anything. I only say God will be the one to judge. Because judgment is of, God, of the Lord. The Bible says, Thou shalt not judge, so that you will not be judged. So, viewers, with what this lady and this man have just said about TV Joshua, what is your own take on this? Please, your opinion matters a lot. Thank you.